Hi, this is sports writer Jeff Lockridge for the Tennessean, and you'll have to excuse the hard hat. I'm standing outside of Vanderbilt's new indoor football practice facility and rec center expansion project, a $31 million endeavor that is coming along quickly and nicely as the summer months progress. I took a tour of this facility earlier today with American Constructors President Harold Brewer, Project Manager Andrew McAllister, Vanderbilt Athletics Director David Williams, and Assistant Vice Chancellor Rock Williams. As you'll see, and as I saw inside this place, there's a lot more going on than just the addition of a new football field. This is the current Student Fitness Center, which is still in use, but both walls pictured here are about to be knocked down, so the workout space will double. Beyond the south wall of the fitness center, past some changing and restroom areas, is the new basketball gym, which will house an oversized court. And this will house a um, high school sized basketball court. It's also oversized so that you have two volleyball courts running crossways uh, in here as well. So, uh, again, adds uh, more flexibility, more room for, for growth for the university in, in that area. On the far side of the wall, we'll put in uh, a half court basketball court outdoors. The other side of the partition in the existing weight room now and this is the expansion that we were talking about it again adds just a, an enormous amount of square footage to uh, to the student uh, faculty weight room here everything that uh, is open right now will be glassed in so again great views to uh, the outside while you're lifting weights um, and so this will tie into that existing space and then uh, on the other side of this wall is the the new bowling alley so we'll, we'll step in there to, uh, what's framed in on either side is uh, is space for lockers for the bowling team uh, and then house balls house shoes all that kind of uh, set up have a point of sale here so students can use it uh, as the, the university likes and, and be able to again create some more flexibility there so I think, Jeff, we got 40 house balls and 60 pairs of shoes. <laughs> trying to meet the demand or the sizes that people may have. So, uh, again, as they were surveying students, uh, faculty, staff, one of the big demands was uh, kind of this flex space, multi purpose room. So, uh, that's what this space will be. Everything that's open will be glass. Um, great view onto uh, the track. We joke that this could be the premium seating for the <laughs> track meets. And, uh, and so down the center of this room, we also have a, a channel that will have a, uh, a motorized folding partition that will be able to split the room further. So just provides a lot of flexibility, whether it's yoga, aerobics, uh, some sort of club or, or group to, to meet. Behind the flex space are two new squash courts, which will house the school's club teams. Yes, there's a lot going on here in this massive project, but there's no denying what the main attraction is. I just always feel like this gives you the best perspective of the space. Uh, you can compare it with being down on the ground floor. You can get a really great feel for the, the size of it, uh, the impact this can make uh, on the university. So here you'll have, again, everything that uh, is open, exposed right now will be glass, including clear story windows on the far side. Everything that's asphalt will be uh, a new Mondo track, so best of the best track surface uh, in here. And on the far side, you have a uh, long jump area running uh, on the far side of those columns. You have pole vault down on the south end 
um, and then you'll have high jump in this far corner. You can bet Commodore's football coach James Franklin and his players are itching to have their first practice here. There's already plenty to like about the way this facility is developing. Now, just imagine how it'll look in four and a half months when it's completed.